We are getting ready to go downtown Seward, Alaska to get on our boat to go out in the ocean. We're catching some halibut today. Come along with us. Let's go. Captain Dave up here driving, he'll be helping us out today as well. Um, how many of you have done this before? All right, sounds good. Good selection of the group, perfect. All right, so first things first, this is a pretty new vessel, custom built 2019. Coast Guard inspected the entire way, so I'm pretty safe here. Uh, if Bob gets one on today, you know, big old sucker, he's putting that thing and takes him over the railing. Don't let go of that rod, that's like 12 bucks. <laughs> so instead, I got a solution for you. I'll have other Bob here grab a life ring located right there. You're going to huck that bad boy out there. You're going to get in that thing like you're floating out a river and reel that fish and we'll come pick you guys up. I mean, that's what tell the story. We got the head located right behind you guys. So this little gray door here. Probably the nicest door in the bar, but it's pretty fancy. Uh, it's got a flush toilet in there. It's even got a little computerized motor thing in there. Uh, there's one trick with it though. There's a little silver handle on the left side. You're gonna want to pull that towards you. It's gonna analyze the situation and flush it down three times. Now, if you push that handle away from you, it likes to stall out, and then I gotta look at your fiber situation while I try to figure that out. <laughs> so nobody wants that. So just pull that handle towards you once. It'll shoot that down three times. We'll be all good there. Hey guys, welcome to the boat. We are out here on our way to the fishing spot. We got Captain Dave right there. I don't want to put him directly on the camera without telling him, but he's a good dude. This is a Crazy Ray's Adventure Charters out of Seward. They got an awesome boat, 2019. All the safety requirements are met. Some good people, they're ready to get some fish. We got about 13 people on the vessel today. We're making good time. It's not too cold out here on the front. We're on the bow. About to go catch some fish. See you guys in a little bit. Because I know nowhere to get them. Okay, you got them. Yeah, but he's better. Oh. Come to realize that, huh? the holders on the deck. Everybody's getting ready to start catching some fish. We're gonna be reeling them up here in a second. Beautiful view though.
So as soon as you get your two halibut, we'll swap and we'll get this combo action going. And then once everybody gets halibut and hopefully some same, we'll go hit rockfish. So everybody gets three of those as well. And then if we still need some more salmon, we can uh, do more salmon afterwards probably too. So we'll just keep this train moving, move on. Just hit species, 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 and deck load this baby. So it gets people to watch. <laughs> All right, what color are you guys? Uh, no, no color. color. Fish on! I think we got a fish on him, Mr. Oh, oh. Robert's well, been in a few. Out oh, here fishing. Got a bunch of hits on the side of the boat. <laughs> All right, you gotta give him the oil. Who's your daddy? I'm your daddy. There we go. You sure you can put that shit on the internet? Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> two fish, two fish. Who's gonna get it first? Oh, uh, we want to kill it? No, there's a fish down there. Yeah, there's a fish involved. Okay, keep winding up. Yeah, we're just we're keeping the tools in the water here. Yeah, what do you got, Renum? Yeah. Uh, I'll just this off real quick and get here. Oh, we good. Oh, this one's gonna get his ass beat. He's beating my ass right now. Yasu, you're dick. Take my bait! <laughs> Both your base? <laughs> 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 
Hey guys, hang on in my line there too. Alrighty. Oh, you got him all good though. Get in the boat. You said you want me to drop it in the water? No, no. I thought I thought these go in the water. <laughs> You're gonna swim after them. <laughs> we'll be down there catching the fish, eat the bait. <laughs> Right through the eyeball. Yeah, he wasn't getting off of there. Come on. I have to give him some dental work. <laughs> Part time dentist and eye doctor. Man, they're chunky out here. Nice, healthy ones. What color are Yellow. you? Yellow. Yellow. Yeah. When them say yellow, yellow. Alright, there you go. Get another one, man. Super! Oh, 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 was that holding that was holding on to the sand? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's bad. Come on! Oh, yeah. I was gonna say I'm starting to oh, I'm starting to like this spot. Right? Yeah. Suddenly. No color. Alright, fish up, fish up. Of the yeah, I don't know what. Yeah, bloodydex.com. Nice. Oh, right. That's a good one. What color? Nice. On a bear circle hook. Dude, you're catching all sorts of weird shit. <laughs> You've like, been so dry for so long and it's like, like boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. shit. We'll just make you a pile over there, all the crap. <laughs> All right, if you need a halibut, come on to the back. Good job, man. That was awesome. He was attached to your halibut, wasn't he? He was like yeah, trying to eat your halibut? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's no, crazy. he literally had him in his mouth. That's so funny. Look at that. What color? Green? Got it. 
Two for you too, yeah? Mm -hmm. What color? No color? No color. There you go. On, uh, That's a good one. All right, man. We'll get you a salmon rod. Get you salmon fishing. Get on my head. He's in the boat. Oh, fuck. All right, watch on down. Nice, Colt. Another fish on. I wonder if the fish will take me around the boat again. <laughs> What's up? There you go. Hey, Is that a hell of a that's a rockfish. Right. You get three of these. You get three right? of those. Woo! Perfect. Three rockfish? All right. Three rockfish. Yes, sir. Drop it back down. See if they eat just the hooch. I'm interested to see. Nice job, Osto. Good one. Yeah. All right. Ripping lips. No what was that? Ripping <laughs> lips. Shoot, you weren't kidding. As soon as you hit the fish. Fish. Hey, he's pulling out for cold. Is that two? Two of them. Fish on over here. Perfect. All right. Fish on here. With some line, rip some lip. That felt like a fish. Yep. Fish on. Nice. Yeah. Fish on. No. Cooper, hey, you lost it. <laughs> What'd you have? Rockfish. The redemption run. Yeah. Hopefully this is the bigger one. Feels bigger. Feels way bigger. Thanks, man. Thank you. Good job. Appreciate you. There it is. Woo! True. Out here catching them. Yeah, dude. Ripping lips. <laughs> Spreading lips? 
bro. <laughs> I can't go in the video. Why not? <laughs> it's family friendly, all right? Yeah. Wet in line. Wet lips? No, ripping lips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> leave it, right there. Leave it oh my god, it's right there. Fish on. All's good, that's during the video. Number three, finally. Everybody's waiting, I got an audience. <laughs> So what's going on? I suck at fishing. You suck at fishing? I suck, I don't at, fishing. suck at fishing. How are you feeling? Uh, you know, it's the last one. Just last hanging one. in there. We're all I just here. know everybody really enjoys being on the boat. We're all so here for Joey. Just uh, prolonging the experience. Yeah, like I said, you're just trying to get the most out of your money. Mm -hmm. right. Most yep. out of the experience. Yep. yep.
heading back to Seward. Had a successful day of fishing. We all got limited out except for Joey. Minus one salmon, but no big deal. We got all next week to go dip netting. We're gonna get some salmon then. We're coming into Seward now. Captain Dave behind me is getting us in there safely. Good to go. See you guys at the dock. What is that? He's got like a whole fishery on there. Uh, it looks like it's a fish separator, dumper, cleaner, or something. It looks it almost looks like a mining rig. Salmon tender. Sorry? Salmon tender. What does that mean? So it's like a crab boat, but during the summer they put all that stuff on there. And then they'll go up to like Bristol Bay where they do all that uh, gill netting, you know? Uh -huh. So the boats that do the gill netting so they don't have to go back like to port to offload everything, those boats go around and like pick it all up. Oh. So they're like tendering. I gotcha. That's cool. All right, don't fall in. I know I'd make a crazy video. But... You're going to fall in? All right, let me know when you're going to... No, kidding. no, I said don't. <laughs> <laughs> Like a champ, dude. <laughs> Parked back quick. Thank you again, we appreciate it. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Hope you got some. Uh, I didn't even get all my salmon. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> you know what? There's, there's an old saying they say, uh, when it, one in every crowd. <laughs> Today it's you, buddy. Excellent. <laughs> no, thank you guys very you much so for much. a fun day. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. All right, we just unloaded. We got our fish. It's a heavy bucket. We'll get this stuff processed. We're on Sound Crazy. Some miscellaneous stuff in August. See if we can go out camping in a wheel spot. We made it back to the dock here. We are, uh, man, that was a long day. We spent, uh, I mean, six o'clock till now. I think it's like three, three thirty, four. Caught some fish. Getting it processed now here at the J Docks Processing. They vacuum seal and then they flash freeze for pickup the next day so that you can take your fish home frozen, which is pretty nice. So we're gonna, we're gonna have them do that and uh, pick it up tomorrow so we can take it home. So earlier this morning, <laughs> six o'clock, I brought a banana and some uh, oranges. And the first thing Wyndham says is, does anybody have a banana? I'm like, yeah, sure, you need it. He's like, no, get that shit away from me. Get that stuff away from me. Go throw it away right now. And uh, so I went and threw away my banana, uh, which was half my lunch. Um, so Captain Dave here is going to explain to us what the deal is with this um, banana. What's going on with the banana? All right. So you did notice how many fish we caught today. I did. Right. That's because you got rid of the banana. You're, okay. So when you bring right. a banana on the boat, on any boat, it's bad luck. No really? bananas on a boat. Ask any captain in the harbor. A lot of them have a sticker on the window with a banana. So this is well-known superstition. 100%. Oh, yeah. Man. Back since boats were sailing. And I think that's where it came from is uh, they would have a lot of fruit and produce on the boats to help oh. prevent scurvy on long excursions. Okay. And uh, the, on the boats, the first fruit to go bad would be bananas. Oh. And so that would make all the rest of the fruit go bad and cause scurvy. Also, another theory behind that is when boats would sink, 
bananas would be the last thing floating in the water. So, so if, you had, sign, a, if right? you had a shipwreck, yeah, you'd have a bunch of bananas floating around in the ocean. Oh, oh man. Well, I'm glad I didn't bring that banana on that trip. <laughs> yeah, I'm we got fish, did. we didn't sink, and it was a great day. No rain. <laughs> yeah, sun's shining, wind wasn't blowing. What luck is that, having this great of weather? We planned this trip, what, four or five months ago? We were rolling the dice, and then it rained almost every weekend up until this weekend, so we, we really lucked out. Yeah, you did. You brought good weather with you. Got the bad luck off the boat early. Yep, I'm glad yep. we caught that one. Uh, but yeah, no, you guys scored on the weather. It's been uh, real nasty, like real windy, real rainy, it's been big rough. seas. Uh, today was nice. That was a breath of fresh air for yep. us. Wyndham says he's been cleaning fish on the deck almost in the rain almost every day. Yeah. And he, he kind of likes it because now he's got he a said he does, out yeah. for him. Yeah, it's all dried on there. Yeah, it keeps all the blood from sticking. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do you guys run every single day? We or? have been, yeah. I think we're on day. Even Sundays and everything? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sundays are probably prime days on the weekend, though. Yeah, they are. Yeah, weekends are big. Um, the only days we don't have as many bookings sometimes is on Tuesday, Wednesday, the federal government shuts down halibut fishing on a charter boat. Oh, really? So, no halibut fishing. It's uh, in July and August. There's, uh, I think there's five weeks in there. Oh, okay. you can't keep a halibut on a charter boat. Yeah. Um, so we'll go out on those days and we'll do silver salmon, rockfish, uh, lingcod, whatever bites the hook. Yeah, I mean, you can catch halibut, you just have to let them go. Let we go, we yeah. don't do that. And you can't, you can't uh, hook them up. Correct. Yeah, because that kills them. Yep. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, we've been, fortunately this year, we've had a lot of silver salmon come in like you saw today. And uh, usually we can find some rockfish. Um, so yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're doing salmon rockfish, and then every other day we're doing halibut. July, August is peak season. Mm -hmm. um, June's about half schedule. May, uh, we do some hunts. Okay. But uh, yeah, gotta make filet while the fish bite. Right, right. Uh, so real quick, I don't wanna take too much more of your time. I wanna know a little bit more about Crazy Race. Can you give us a little bit of backstory? I know uh, mm -hmm. primarily started in Whittier and starting to come into Seward. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah, so it's kind of crazy. It all happened pretty fast, uh, which is perfect for Mr. Crazy Ray. Right, And, and right. he is crazy, man. Is he? He, he's full throttle wide open. That's cool. Um, <laughs> That's cool. And so yeah, he was working in the oil fields for quite some time and then started chartering. And they've got three boats out of Whittier, and then just bought this one in March of this year. Oh wow! Okay. And so everything, you know, it. So yeah. this is relatively relatively new to Crazy Race. 100. Oh, very. Yep. Very Starting cool. in March, I got the phone call in March. Um, I, I've been working on this boat since it was made four years ago. Oh, okay. So you're original to this boat. Correct. And transferred into Crazy Race with the boat. Fortunately. That's awesome. Yep, very That's fortunate. awesome. Really cool. And uh, also, very fortunately, Ray and Brenda are awesome people. That's good. And it made a really smooth transition. I got to operate a vessel that I knew already. That's a big deal, right? Um, and also they got me where I knew some of, you know, quite a bit of the stuff about the boat. Yeah, that's really good. Uh, so no, it's been working out really good. We're enjoying it. And uh, yeah, burn diesel, kill fish. <laughs> um, how do how do people get a hold of Crazy Race? How do people get a charter set up? Is any any um, like social medias or yeah. email addresses? Yeah, they've got uh, Instagram, Facebook. You can find them on there. Okay. Perfect. And then if you go, if you Google Crazy Rays Fishing Adventures, you'll come to their website, and they've got their whole schedule on the website, and it shows you how many seats are available on what boat out of Seward, out of Whittier. Okay. And uh, you can go online and you can just click how many people you want and uh, book online that way. Um, also, Brenda's contact information is on there and she handles most of the bookings because Ray's out there being crazy, killing stuff. Is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> does does he do any of the captaining of the charters or? Absolutely. Oh, he does? Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. How do you get on one with him? Um, you just call and request Ray. Okay. Request Ray, yeah. Next one that's available that he's chartering? Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. Captain Dave is my guy, though. You got I don't know, I have to, it's going to be hard to go to go to with anyone else. Man. That was a really cool experience. We got a lot of fish, a lot I mean, of good times. I only times got two too. salmon, but, yeah. you know. Yeah, <laughs> Joey's review might not be as good. But. Right, yeah. It was a good lack of trying. You went back like three well, times for me. Went, Captain Dave went out of his way to go find multiple different spots for Joey to get his third salmon. He just couldn't do it. That's okay, though. Yeah, yeah. sometimes we win, sometimes the fish. Yeah, that's how it is. Cool. Anything else that we can think of? Cool, man. Well, I appreciate All your right. time. Thank Absolutely. You so Thank you guys Thank so you. much. Appreciate we appreciate it. it. Yeah. Heck yeah. Successful trip in Seward. We went on a charter where we caught rockfish, uh, halibut, and salmon. It was pretty cool. We saw someone catch a lingcod on there. Um, just got done packing everything up. All the cameras are hooked up. So here we're going to be heading down to Kenai. And once we get to Kenai, we're going to be staying at K Beach Campground. And we're going to be breaking side by side out to get down to the south side of the Kenai 
river mouth, right? Yep. And uh, we're gonna do some uh, dip netting. Uh, we have a lot of fish to catch. We got some household members that get some get some fish as well. So I mean, together with our other buddies, we're probably catching at least 80 fish or more. Yes. You're at 45. 25 for, for the leader of the household. 10 for every household member after that. Yep. So that's a good amount of fish that we got to get next week. So stay tuned. Make sure you watch the videos, and then we'll have our separate dip netting video out. Uh, so make sure you check those out. Appreciate you guys. Talk to you later.